Hello everyone and welcome to a bit of a different video today. We're going to be talking about pitch conditions and weather conditions in Cricket Captain 2021. Now this actually does apply to any Cricket Captain game including a future games down the line. I'm sure Cricket Captain 2022, 2023 and onwards will probably all have the same sort of thing unless they revamp the weather system in which case there will be a new video on that. Now the system itself is very interesting indeed. So I've just chucked on a random Netherlands versus New Zealand game in the background. For the pitch and weather conditions, I've actually done some research and I've come across a Microsoft Word Cricket Captain 2015 manual. I'll actually link the manual down in the description for you guys to check it out for yourself. It's got a lot of tips and tricks all over the place. So I will say that the credit goes to the creator of this Cricket Captain 2015 manual because they are basically covering what the conditions actually do. So for the playing conditions, the following are various permutations of playing and weather conditions together with their effects. Pitch bounce and wear will deteriorate as the match progresses. So if you play a test match, if it starts good, it will probably not end good. It will probably deteriorate over time unless it's a poor pitch, in which case it'll just be a draw because obviously the batters will have a feast. With the bounce. Now on this particular wicket, as you can see, the bounce is good. The bounce can be listed as follows. Perfect bounce favors batters. Even bounce has a slight advantage for batters. Again, because with the wicket, being flat obviously it's going to favor batters being able to play through the line better than if it wasn't average bounce means there is no advantage for batters or bowlers so it's a basically a fair game uneven bounce starts to favor fast bowlers and erratic mainly favors fast bowlers but all bowlers will gain some advantage from the bounce as you can see on this wicket it's good so that's probably what you would call even so it goes perfect even average uneven erratic if it is full it means it's perfect if it's erratic it's basically down to zero moving on to the wear we've got very good which favors batters good has a slight advantage for batters average has no advantage for either batters or bowlers. Turning, which is an advantage for spin bowlers, and sharp turn, which is a big advantage for spin bowlers. Interestingly, I didn't realize that before, but bounce only really favors the fast bowlers. Spin is favored by the wear. Now, in terms of the weather, I've always known that obviously very cloudy has an increased advantage for seam bowlers. It just makes sense. It's just cricketing knowledge, really. Like, if you're going to have overhead conditions, it's you're just going to get swing. So, if it's sunny, it adversely affects stamina of fast bowlers and it says seamers will take fewer wickets that is very interesting to point out so basically that sort of means that if it's sunny in a place like Australia you're actually gonna find that your seamers will struggle and toil because obviously their stamina goes down faster and apparently they take less wickets in the Sun if it's unsettled we're talking icons now so if it's sunny you'll see like a full Sun icon as you can see here on the screen we've got sort of like a Sun and a cloud which I believe is neutral that's neutral which unsettled equals neutral there is no advantage nor any disadvantage it's an even game cloudy means there is a slight advantage for seam bowlers you'll see cloudy as just mainly a cloud it's going to be like a light cloud which is a slight advantage for seam bowlers and if it's very cloudy you'll see a dark really a dark gray cloud you can actually see that when when you get in your innings there's actually you can hover over it on the bottom right hand corner you can actually hover over it and it, it will tell you what the conditions are if you don't know so you can learn the icons if you are new to the game and very cloudy is obviously increased advantage for seam bowlers that should be all the conditions covered but we've still got two things which actually have an effect on the game outfield and something I actually didn't know until I read about it right now which makes a lot of sense is the light so obviously you can see that the light is very good it says here that when four lights are, are lit on the meter then the umpires may suspend play for bad light so so I think it means the other way around so it's uh, if it's basically lit red four times on the light meter the umpires may suspend play for bad light but this is why I didn't know although this chance is reduced if slower bowlers are in operation at that time I had no idea that was even a feature in the game since this person has brought it up I feel like I've, I have never seen that before but it makes a lot of sense if you want to get more overs out of the poor light as you do in real life you bowl spinners you you make it so that the batters don't have to see 150 k's an hour coming down you they 
they only need to see 90 or 80 and it actually prolongs the state of play. It doesn't actually say on this document, but I believe outfield goes basically from very fast, fast, it must be average, I believe it is, and then slow and then very slow. So it just goes up and down like that. Obviously, if it's very fast, it means that when the batters hit shots, it'll obviously speed off the outfield and go away to the boundary much, much quicker, obviously making it a higher scoring match than if the outfield was very slow, where obviously if you if you time the ball, it, was, it won't go to the boundary as regularly. And I believe I've seen somewhere that if you play a one-day international per se, and the outfield started as very slow, that you should actually bowl first because the outfield will speed up as the day goes on. So that's also something to keep in mind. If you at any time see the outfield as very slow or slow, realize that it might pick up over the days to come. Obviously with the playing conditions, what you would do for these playing conditions, especially for first class games, is you need to actually try and plan out to not bat in the cloud because the seamers will get an advantage against your batters. So if you see lots of cloud on day one and no cloud on day two, ideally you would like to bowl first if you see cloud on day one and day two it's going to be a judgment call because you i guess wanting to roll them and then trying to survive the rest of the cloud period and obviously if you see a whole sunny match you just want to bat first you want to bat first make a big total grind down the pitch grind down these playing conditions over the course of the four or five days of a match by the start of day five it will be much much harder to bat in most games where the bounce will deteriorate the wear will deteriorate and it will just be a lot lot harder. I hope you learned something from this video everyone. Again, shout out to the creator of this Cricket Captain 2015 manual for this information because I mean I myself didn't know half of this information. It makes total sense and I mean it just goes with the logic of the game really and that's sort of how I've seen it play out before. So if you did enjoy this Cricket Captain tips and tricks video everyone then please make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more content at the post notification bell. Make sure to subscribe as well everyone. We are trying to hit 1000 subscribers. Any subscriptions at all would help and until the next cricket captain tips and tricks video everyone check the rest of them down in the description below and check the playlist out and until the next one take care everyone